Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Susan, and I am making a video tonight on a town in Trinidad and Tobago called Carapachima. Um, I was motivated to make this video because I've been hearing Carapachima being mentioned a lot in the news today. So I wanted everybody to know about Carapachima. So I am going to read, I'm in Wikipedia, um, about Carapachima. So Carapachima is a town in central Trinidad and Tobago. Communities and villages in Carapachima include Orangefield, Waterloo, Brickfield, and Korea Village. Um, it's a long word, Carapachima. C-A-R-A-P-I-C-H-A-I-M-A, -A -A, Carapachima. So the name is said to be derived from the, the, na the native Amerindians inhabit inhabitants who no longer exist in this area. So let's talk about the history of Carapachima. Carapachima had been a sugar producing village that expanded after the railroad opened up central Trinidad to development and population movements. Better access to transportation allowed the village to expand into a hub for transportation in central Trinidad and center for commerce for the surrounding areas and rural communities. Carapachima has seen major changes in growth due to a number of factors. These include the construction of new schools in the area, the establishment and expansion of business into the area and the increase of tourism into the area. Major structural changes occurred in the past few years when the main sugar producing state owned company Carini 1975 Limited was closed in 2003. A significant part of the rural population were employed in the sugar industry. Among some of the major problems plague in this community is increasing crime rates and difficulty coping with the previously mentioned structural changes. Um, religion. The town is very cultural. Cu the town is very culturally diverse, hosting a very large East Indian population as well as a significant African population. The predominantly East Indian population explains the dominance of religions like Hinduism and Islam in the area. This dominance is, ev is evident by the amount of temples and mosques located in the area. The, Dat the Datatriya Mandir, sorry if I said that wrong, is a Hindu temple dedicated to the Ganapati Sakshi Ganapati Sashi Dananda. Sorry. Situated on the temple ground is the tallest, 85 feet, Lord Hanuman. Lord Hanuman is a god, yes. Hanuman, also called Anjaneya, is a Hindu god and a divine Banara companion of the god Rama. Hanuman is one of the central characters of the Hindu epic Ram Ramayana. I'm sorry. Hanuman is one of the central characters of the Hindu epic Ramayana. He is an ardent devotee of Rama and one of the Sharanjivas. Okay, so that's that's Hanuman is one of the gods. So situated in the temple ground is the tallest 85 feet Lord Hanuman statue in the Western Hemisphere completed in 2001. The statue was designed and constructed by T. Sub Subramanian Sitapathy, he was the chief architect from Chennai. Where is Chennai? Chennai, formerly known as Madras, is a capital city of Tamil Nadu, the southernmost Indian state. Okay, so that's Chennai. So, also of significance is the temple in Waterloo. Everybody probably have heard about that. In Trinidad, the temple in the water, which extends into the sea. Several mosques dot the area, and a Muslim school 
is centrally located close to the former train station. A number of churches also exist to serve the growing Christian population in Karapachima. Karapachima has been a major staging point for carnival celebrations in central Trinidad. So schools. A number of schools have sprouted into the area to accommodate its rising population. One of the first was the Canadian Missionary School and the Waterloo Presbyterian School. This was originally built to educate the rural East Indians who lived and formed the workforce of the sugar plantations that encompassed the region at that time. Eventually, a number of schools were established like the Waterloo Hindu School, Orangefield Hindu School, Karapachama Roman Catholic School, and the Karapachama Ashja Muslim Primary School, to name a few. And we have some references of where this information came from. But let's um i wanted to talk a little bit about the temple in the sea but i don't want this video to be too long i had a map i have a oh, the temple in the sea this is the this is the temple in the sea that's in Karapachima. I'm going to do another video talking about the temple in the sea and the history. Uh, I think I wanted to show... Oh, here it is. Here's the map of Trinidad, guys. And in the map, I want to show you where Karapachima is situated. So we talked about the Waterloo. Um, we talked about Waterloo and Karapachima is right here and it's surrounded by these towns. Shagornas, Londonville, Freeport, Coover. We have Port of Spain here. So this is a map of Trinidad. So yeah, so I heard Karapachima in the in the news today. And I just wanted to come on here and talk about Karapachima. And I'm going to make another video about the, the temple in the sea, which is right here. It's also known as the Suda Sadhu Mandir. It's a Hindu mandir in Waterloo. A Hindu Mandir, a Hindu temple is the same thing as a Hindu Mandir. Um, is a house, seat, and body of divinity for Hindus. So um, I'm going to end this video because I don't want it to be too long. But yeah, this is the temple right here. Temple in the sea. Affiliation Hinduism, that's Hindu. The Doughty, that's the gods. Shiva, Durga, Ganesha, Hanuman, and Krishna. The festivals for Hindus, Diwali, Pagwa, Ganesh, Chatu, Ganesh, these two different things. Oh no, it's the same thing. Ganesh, Chaturthi, sorry if I said it wrong. Maha, Shivarat, Shivaratri, Katak, Purnima, Chat, Navratri and the governing body is the Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha that's the largest and most influential Hindu organization in Trinidad and Tobago so guys all about Karapachama thank you see you in the next video bye